By watching this short video, you will learn the quick and easy steps to wire the UC1 universal control to a gas or oil burner with an aquastat. Be sure to follow all electrical codes for wiring when making these field connections. Start by removing the power from the aquastat. Disconnect the wire coming from B1 on the L1 of the primary control, burner relay, or hot of the gas valve and attach it to terminal number 1 on the UC1. Connect terminal number 2 on the UC1 to the B2 on the aquastat. Now, connect terminal number 4 on the UC1 to the L1 on the primary control, burner relay, or hot of the gas valve. Next, make sure the red voltage selector is on the 115 volt position. Finally, connect the 115 volt power supply voltage to the L and N terminals on the UC1. It is important to note that the installer must supply overload and disconnect protection. If not previously completed, you also need to attach and wire the UC1 whip to the circuit board and to the venter. Carefully slide the black, white, blue, yellow, and green wires, four of which have female spade connectors, into the UC1 cabinet. Attach the black to the MTR terminal and the white to the N terminal. The blue and yellow will connect to P1 and P2 and are not polarity sensitive. The green wire will attach to the box grounding screw. The opposite end of the UC1 whip will connect to the venter. Connect the black and white leads to the venter motor leads. The blue and yellow should attach to the fan prover switch and the green wire will connect to the venter ground. You have now completed the wiring. Refer to your manual or contact Churnland Direct for additional help. If you are watching this on your mobile phone or tablet, hit the back button to return to the previous screen.